Your controller will come with fresh batteries. If you need to replace the batteries, slide down the cover on the back of the unit. To set the time, use a paper clip to depress the small button in the lower right. Use the lower pair of up and down buttons to adjust the time, then press the set button when you're done. Now you're ready to power up the system. To communicate with the indoor head, the remote controller needs an uninterrupted line of sight. If you point the controller at the ductless head and push a button, a chime will indicate that the signal has been received. To switch back and forth between Celsius and Fahrenheit, press and hold the swing button for three seconds. Press the mode button to select between heating, cooling, and fan modes. The snowflake icon indicates cooling mode. The silhouette with the letter A indicates auto mode. In this mode, the system switches back and forth between heating and cooling. We do not recommend auto mode because it can lead to unintended operation and high energy bills. The raindrop icon indicates dry mode. Dry mode is similar to conventional cooling, but the system slows down the fan speed and drops the coil temperature to maximize moisture removal. The sun icon indicates heating mode. The fan icon indicates fan only mode. This circulates air through the head but provides no heating or cooling. One important thing to remember is that if you have multiple indoor heads connected to a single outdoor unit, you can't have some in heat mode and some in cool or dry mode. This will cause the system to shut down. You can mix heat, fan, and off modes. You can also mix cool, dry, fan, and off modes. But you can't put the system in a configuration where it's trying to heat and cool or dry at the same time. This problem usually comes up in the fall when people turn on their heat for the first time, and in summer when folks first turn on their air conditioning. When you switch between modes, you may notice a delay of a few minutes before the system responds. This is a feature of normal operation and protects equipment from damage. Once you've selected the mode you want, use the up and down temperature arrows to adjust the temperature setting. This is the target temperature the system will maintain, and it's sensed at the ductless head itself. To see the temperature at the remote, press the room temp button. You'll notice that this temperature may be a few degrees different than your target setting. This is normal. We recommend adjusting the set point to a temperature at which you're comfortable, even if it's a few degrees different than your previous thermostat settings. With older fossil fuel systems, you could save energy by turning the thermostat down several degrees at night and when you leave the house. Heat pumps perform best when you take a set it and forget it approach to temperature settings. While you should feel free to make minor set point adjustments for comfort, we recommend against deep temperature setbacks unless you'll be away for several days. The fan speed button adjusts airflow. You can cycle between five fan speed settings and a chaos mode that simulates natural breezes. For best efficiency in mixing, we recommend medium to high fan speeds. When you press the fan speed button, the current fan speed is displayed on the head itself. The swing button on the left controls the vertical louvers. These can be adjusted between downward and horizontal. They can also be set to oscillate. If the vertical swing indicator is not visible on the LCD screen, that means that the louvers will adjust automatically to the recommended position for heating or cooling. The swing button to the right can be used to direct air from side to side. The horizontal louvers are behind the vertical louvers and are harder to see. The light off button turns the display on the head on or off. In heating mode, you will occasionally see the defrost icon on the head light up. This indicates that the system is going through a defrost cycle to melt ice that has built up on the outdoor coil. 
During this cycle, which lasts a few minutes, the louvers move to a horizontal position, the fan slows down, and the system stops producing warm air. When defrost is complete, the system resumes normal operation. Your LG ductless system comes with a built-in Wi-Fi adapter that allows it to connect to your mobile device. To enable Wi-Fi connections, download the Think app from the Apple or Android store and follow the instructions. To ensure efficient operation of your ductless unit, clean the filter every few weeks. Turn the system off, remove the filter, and clean it gently using a vacuum with a brush attachment. Then snap it back into place and turn the system on. Once a year, have your system professionally cleaned as part of a preventive maintenance visit. That covers basic operation and recommended use of LG ductless heads.